How Arsenal could line up with four new signings from £200 million spree and two major exits. Arsenal are set for major squad rebuilding this summer transfer window with Declan Rice, Romeo Lavia, Kai Havertz and Jurian Timber all being targeted by Mikel Arteta. Arsenal are set for a massive transfer window as they aim to bridge the gap to Premier League winners Manchester City. There are four positions being primarily targeted by Gunners boss Mikel Arteta, with a new right back, attacker and two midfielders most notably West Ham United captain Declan Rice all being targeted by the North London club. Arsenal are reportedly willing to break their transfer record to pay £90 million to West Ham and offer Rice £300,000 per week. Rice is their number one priority but the Gunners will face plenty of competition for his services with Manchester City also tabling a bid. Arsenal have agreed a £65 million deal for Chelsea star Kai Havertz and will also bid £40 million to land Southampton midfielder Romeo Lavia. Arsenal have also lodged a bid for Ajax defender Jurian Timber who had been a primary transfer target for Manchester United boss Ericton Hag who coached him at Ajax. The moves for Rice and Lavia would act as de facto direct replacements for Thomas Partey and Granit Xhaka. Mirror Football revealed Partey was attracting interest from Italy and now Saudi Arabia as well while Xhaka has a deal in place to join Bundesliga side Bayer Leverkusen. More transfer fees could be raised and space in Arsenal's wage budget cleared by Cedric Soares, Rob Holding and Kieran Tierney being among those who could be moved on this summer. There is also a trio of Premier League clubs interested in striker Eddie Inkedia. The clearout may not end there with Albert Sambi Lokonga, Fuller and Balogun, Mohamed Elneny, Nuno Taveras and Nicolas Pepe among those who Arsenal will listen to offers for as they seek to rejuvenate their squad. Lavia and Rice would form the base of Arsenal's midfield, with Timber slotting in at right back challenging Ben White in the position. William Saliba and Gabriel would form the central defensive partnership, with goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale and left-back Alexander Zinchenko retaining their positions. Havertz's inclusion is more complicated, as he is likely to be including in an attacking lineup which will be rotated with Gabriel Martinelli and Bukayo Saka, with Martin Odegaard remaining in a central position behind striker Gabriel Jesus. Martin Odegaard admits Arsenal's collapse will be painful for the rest of my life as the Gunners' captain opens up on his devastation at missing out on the title to Man City last season. Mikel Arteta's side topped the table for the majority of the campaign and looked set to end their 19-year wait for the title. But the team imploded in the final weeks of the season as they won just three of their last nine games, allowing Manchester City to overtake them and claim their third successive title. Odegaard is yet to put his finger on exactly what went wrong, and has admitted it has been tough to come to terms with his side's collapse. It's difficult, there are many things that come into play, of course, Odegaard told Viaplay when asked to explain why Arsenal lost form at a crucial point in the season. We competed against the team that has won it all, it was tight and even at the end, especially in the three games that Arsenal drew, we lost momentum. There are so many things that can affect the season, we were close and we must use the disappointment to go closer. I think this will bother me for the rest of my life. We were very close, I almost managed to achieve my dream, I think it will be painful for the rest of my life but we have to try again next year. Arsenal captain Odegaard led by example last term, registering 15 goals and 8 assists in the Premier League to take his team to the brink of title glory. He is happy with his campaign from an individual perspective, but feels this can make up for the team's shortcomings when it mattered most. This was a good season for me, I have delivered well and scored several goals, he continued. I have been more important to the team, it's been good but of course a tough end to the season which still hurts. So I have mixed feelings. Odegaard wants last season's disappointment to fuel the Gunners in their bid to go one better next. Arsenal begin their campaign at home to Nottingham Forest on August 12th, and will get chances to prove their title credentials as they host Manchester United, Tottenham and City in their opening eight matches.